Welcome to the game room. Alright, all of our models start off with a priming of Gray Seer. If you have Wraithbone, that'll work just as well. It just gives it kind of a warmer color. Um, and, you know, that's it. It's great. You could even use a white primer. I've used that with the contrast paints before. But uh, we're going to start with Max. Uh, Max, shoes, pants, uh, skin, hair, bat, and then two different colors for his uh, varsity jacket. We're going to make the, the main jacket a little darker and the sleeves a little lighter just because it'll be cool. Um, to start with, we're going to use a tanned flesh on the skin. Uh, being a varsity athlete, he's probably been out in the sun more, so tanned flesh will be the color that we choose. Add a little water to thin it down. I use a mixture of Army Painter, a few Vallejo uh, that I've picked up over the years, and a lot of contrast. Um, I like the contrast just because they make it fast. Uh, as said before, these videos are for new painters uh, who are just trying to get into it, get started, want a place to start. If uh, uh, you want to uh, win awards, these are probably not the videos for you. These are just, hey, here's how you can paint these models up quick and get them on the table. Tabletop quality, three foot distance. Um, and I think you see that and we do a good job. Uh, they'll come out really nice when we're done. Uh, this is at double speed, so you can get an idea of about how long this model took of actual painting time. Uh, add in another 10 minutes of deciding on what colors, and the whole model took less than 30 minutes uh, to paint. Uh, if you're new, it's going to take you longer. Take your time. Um, little mistakes, you know, you can cover those up easily. Uh, next thing we're going to do is his shoes. I'm using a Fire Slayer Flesh. You can use any brown you want. Snake bite leather is another good one. Uh, whatever brown you like. Uh, it is a contrast paint, so it's generally it's just one coat, and you're good. And it'll fill in those recesses. It'll darken the dark lines, leave the upper areas uh, a little brighter. And you'll see that when the model's completed. All right, the black contrast, black Templar contrast paint uh, for his hair. Um, it's actually really good because it'll sit down into the recesses and the higher strands of hair where the light would reflect will be a lighter color. So it looks really cool when it's done. Uh, just be really careful around the skin and around those uh, parts that touch other areas. You don't want to get the black on them. If you do, just use your uh, Gray Sear base paint uh, to go back and touch it up. Looking good, Max. Uh, Ultramarine's blue. This one I like because it, it's it's really a good blue jean color. Um, it's just a a darker blue, and it just covers really, really well. Um, and I like it. I use it quite a bit for blue jeans. Space Wolf's Gray. This one is going to be for the main portion of the jacket. Uh, it's a little darker grayish blue color. And to offset that, we're going to do the sleeves in a, a lighter uh, gray color. Just because I thought it looked cool. But again, you can use whatever colors you want. If you want to make his varsity jacket all yellow, go for it. It's your model. Don't You don't have to follow what anybody else does. Um, just go with whatever you think, whatever looks good. 
But again, the contrast paints I really like, as you'll see, you can get in one coat, you can get shading and highlighting all done. You know, the model's painted, the recesses are colored in a little darker, the upper areas are a little are a little lighter. You can always take this up a notch and, and come back and you know do some dry brush highlights and things like that. Like I said, I'm out to get these done as quick as possible to get them on the table so I can play the game. Um, the medium we're going to mix in with uh, the Griffin Griff Charger Gray. Um, about three to one, maybe two to one. You know, it's it's what I'm mixing up here. You can see it turns into a very light gray. Uh, always use your medium on your palette first before you add your color, and don't put your brush back into your medium. Uh, you'll ruin the entire pot, and it's not a cheap pot. Um, but again, we're just going to run that over the sleeves. It's going to give it a lighter, whitish gray color. Um, and I think it goes well with the Space Wolf's gray for the main part. Uh, Barbarian Flesh here, this is, it's not really going to be a dry brush. Barbarian Flesh is a, is a brighter, lighter colored flesh. Um, but I just kind of use it like quickly, dry brush, uh, but it's not really a dry brush, over uh, the highlighted parts of the skin, anywhere the light might be hitting. Um, and then we're going to hit it with a flesh wash. The flesh wash will kind of bring the tanned flesh and the barbarian flesh together. Fill in those recesses um, from a tabletop, you know, standard which I use, or which I go for three feet. I don't do eyeballs. You're not going to see his eyes from three feet away, anyway. So uh, I'm not going into that much detail. The idea is get these done as quick as possible. And skeleton horde um, for the bat. Uh, just to, I'm using a brown skeleton horde is really good uh, for painting skeletons actually, uh, but it also makes a nice light wood color. And you can use any color bat that you want. If uh, you're a fan of MLB the show, MLB the show, uh, you see there's all sorts of different bat patterns. You want to make the bat green, black, red, doesn't matter. Use whatever color you want. Uh, I'm just going for the natural wooden bat color here. All right, and here he is, all finished. Again, you know, for 20, 25 minutes worth of work, you can get a decent looking model. Doesn't take a whole lot. And he looks pretty darn good from you know, three feet away. Um, you can nitpick it to death, but it's a tabletop quality. And those contrast paints do wonders. Anyway, hope this helped. Uh, please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.